Okay, so this is going to be a uh, first video of a series of two videos. This video specifically is targeted towards uh, downloading our SOLIDWORKS templates folder. <clears throat> uh, the second video will be on how to set up our SOLIDWORKS templates in SOLIDWORKS. So hopefully by now you've already downloaded your SOLIDWORKS. And you've not done so, please refer to the directions in Schoology. They're pretty straightforward. It does take a little time on the download. But once you set it up and put the activation code in, you should see something similar to what you see over here to the left of my screen. You'll probably see a ton of icons in here. They most likely will be in color. I'm sorry, mine are not showing that way. But the one that's the most important is the SOLIDWORKS 2020. Now, usually what I like to do is take my SOLIDWORKS 2020, right-click on it, and I like to pin it to the taskbar. Okay, right now I have mine pinned. What that actually does, it actually puts it down here in your taskbar. So that way you can click it in one click. Now, in addition to all this stuff from SOLIDWORKS, I want you to add one more thing to this desktop. I would like you to right click, go to New, Folder, and we're going to label this, and I do mine in all caps, just easier, SOLIDWORKS Templates. That's it, SOLIDWORKS Templates. I'm going to hit enter to activate so that our folder is right now. Uh, it's empty, but it's ready to go for me to download files from my H drive into this folder. So step number one after you've downloaded your SOLIDWORKS is to create a new folder called SOLIDWORKS Templates. And then from here, I want you to go into your my.cherokeeschools.org. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and log in. And once I'm here, I'm looking for a tile or actually a tab at the bottom called My Productivity. Okay, when I left click on that, yours will be a little bit different than mine. I have some productivity things that are for more for teachers. You'll have yours geared towards uh, your student work. The one tab I want you to look for, or tile I want you looking for, is one called My Files. Mm -hmm. What the My Files will do is, is My Files will allow you to access through the cloud, through your home internet, your H drive is located currently at Grandview High School. When I left click on that, it's going to take a second to load up, and it's eventually going to get you to this screen. Now, the only real folder you're concerned about is your home, or in this case, your H drive, it probably will say home student. All right, if you click on this H drive right here, left click one time, all the folders you have currently in your H drive will show up, or any files you also have will show up. Now what I'm going to be looking for here is I would like to get my SOLIDWORKS templates folder that I have currently saved in one of two spots. Currently I have one that's kind of by itself in the open, but I also have one that's uh, saved under CAD. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to go ahead and open up my CAD folder with a left click. I'm going to go through and look alphabetically for my SOLIDWORKS templates folder. Now it's right here, so I'm going to left click this folder. These are all the templates you need to be putting in or downloading into the new folder that we placed on the uh, desktop. To download folder, download these parts into that folder. I'm going to do a multiple selection. It's one way you can do it. So you can actually click a bunch of these. Okay, that's one way. You can email the files. That's a, one other way to send them to yourself. You can also zip them and then open up the zip file in your folder. Now what I'm going to do instead is I'm not going to do the multi-way. Okay, I'm going to take my multiple sections off. I instead am going to do one at a time by right-clicking, going to download. Now it's going to give me this template here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put it into, um, in this case, show in folder. Sorry, this is going to show you in a downloads folder because this is where it's going to go. All right, and I wish you could actually point it. That used to be a, a, an option a few years ago. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my download here, and you can see I've got quite a bit of enter, uh, downloads. I apologize. Um, I'm actually going to try to minimize these so I can get rid of a bunch of stuff here. Uh, and this, sorry, I'm just going to minimize, minimize. You can see I do a lot of downloading of files. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this file from right here. I'm going to go to my desktop. Um, right here, oops, and actually I shouldn't do it that way, uh, laptop, um, let's see if we can find my desktop here, um, this PC, oh, I'm going to expand my desktop, and I'm looking for my SOLIDWORKS templates folder, 
Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to left click and hold, drag the SolidWorks template to the folder turns blue, let go. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one here. I'm going to right click, download. Okay, if you want, you can download all of them at one time. That may be easier. So I'm again right click, download, right click, download right click and download and I'm going to do this for every single one of these and then I'm going to go to my downloads folder and drag them all into that folder okay now there are other other ways of doing this but this is the most logical way uh, for those that are not very tech savvy to at least get your files into the folder and so again I'm right clicking each one I'm downloading them I don't care if these are showing down at the bottom I'm just going to download download again Right click and download this one here also. The cross stick, I don't need. I don't know. Someone messed this one up. I don't know why that's in there. I'm skipping it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead to the next one here and download and download. And then the last two coming up and download. Okay, so now I've downloaded all these things. And what I'm going to do now is say to any one of these, um, show in folder. Okay, so here are all those files right there that I want to now go over here to the desktop, over here under my or this PC. Okay, so under here, it's going to say this PC. Drop this open and open my desktop. Now I'm going to take all these and you can do a couple different ways. I could drag and drop, left click and drag, let go. Or I could actually hold my control key and highlight all these pieces. Okay, the other thing I could do, I'm going to click out here, is I could also do my shift key, go to the last in this line, which is this is clock laser template, left click, so all turn blue. I'm going to then left click and hold and drag and drop. Okay, so now if I go to my SolidWorks templates folder you see here, so I'm going to open this up, there are all my templates in the folder. Okay, and at this point, you've got the templates you need to load in the SOLIDWORKS. So at this point, this is a done video. I'm going to do the second part of the video. We'll show you how to point your SOLIDWORKS towards that file folder. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to email me. Otherwise, good luck. Thank you.